Hi guys. So I have my back wheel on. Um, I got this neck here off an old BMX bike, and obviously I need to still grind this down. I'll do it after. What I want to do is I'm gonna roll this here like this. Figure out the angle of the forks. I'm going to use these forks here from the same BMX and I'll cut it over here and weld the plate just like I did on the chopper. Um, now for this I'm using my other cat which is I put a piece of um, string here and I can't really, I need to wait for it to stop wobbling back and forth to see where the center point is. The center point is here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll, I'll give you a closer, close up look at, at it. This line here is the center point. So this line here is the center point of the bike. Now this CAD here is a piece of wool string. You guys can see and I tied a nut to it as a weight and then um, the other end is uh, tied to a screw up on the ceiling and once this stops moving I'll align this mark here with this and then line this up here with the string this way I'll know where the center point is and then I'll bring these in and weld it I'll show you how it, I'm going to do this anyway okay so I I got this kind of stop moving so obviously this um, string is straight now I just got to line the bench with the center of the mark here and then line this with the center which it needs to come this way a bit more oh and I just messed up the string again but let's see if I can make this work Right there it's centered. Um, what I did, you, for those of you that watched my last video, you guys are going to notice it, so you're going to say, what the hell, you know. What I did was, I welded the neck down here. So I welded these parts up here. Then I realized I messed up, because the pipes, the tubes that are going to come from here and everything, there's nothing to weld onto. So I had to cut it off, raise it up, so these tubes here can weld onto here. Anyway, I just wanted to explain that before I get any bad comments about it and everything. Yeah, I screwed up. 
But anyway, I just fixed that. So now these, the neck is moved up. Those bars can come and weld up here now. Cool? Cool. So I set the engine in here so I can line up the... Um, I'm going to use a certifical clutch. I hope I said that right. Uh, certifical clutch. Um, with the back rear gear, I think I have to move the engine over anyway. A little bit more but that's why I put it there so I can set it up uh, for any of you that are wondering no I'm not putting no jack shafts on this bike uh, I'm not a fan of a jack shaft I think it's just a, a waste of money and uh, work to put a jack shaft on something like this you got a 40 420 cc uh, engine with a uh, 54 tooth sprocket on the back and a 10 uh, tooth uh, sprocket on the front. Plenty of torque and lots of speed. You put a jack shaft here, you're reducing the speed and you're increasing torque. Yeah, maybe one day if somebody decides to um, bet me that I can't climb a mountain that's 10 miles high, maybe that day I'll put a jack shaft on one of my builds. But... Other than that, there's no need for a jack shaft. Um, so yeah, I'm going to line this up and then this way I can uh, bring these bars. I can figure out how to bring these bars here to here. And yeah, I'm going to go from there. Cool. Cool. So I went ahead and I took the gas tank, the air filter, and the exhaust off the engine. Uh, and now I can work on making the back part here. So that's what I'm going to get on to now. So for the back part here, I don't, it's square tubing, but I really don't want to make it as a square back here I wanted to try to make it a little bit round it's not going to be perfectly round or half a circle uh, because it's square tubing but I'll show you how I'm gonna try to do that anyway So what I'm doing here is I'm making a few cuts. I'm going to make a few of them. And then what I'll do is I'll bend this. Try to make it as round as possible. Yeah, you know what? I could make the cuts closer. It'll make it nice and rounder and everything. But then again, it's a lot of welding to do because I got to weld these back up again. Right? So I'm going to do them in about an inch, an inch and a half apart. The cuts anyway. Alright, so I made I made four cuts on this side. I left a little here and I made another four cuts on this side. And now I'm gonna bend them all together. So that's pretty it's gonna be pretty round. But the problem with this is I need to bring this lined up with that. Let me just turn the camera here around a bit. So it can measure 11 and a half inches across. So, yeah, there's quite a bit more doing the cut. I honestly, I don't want to do too many cuts. Because the more cuts I do, the more welding I have to make. All right. So what I think I'll do is I'll come in here and then slice this a little bit more once it's closed to open the gap up and then it'll bend a little bit more. So let's do that.
So what I'm doing here is like closing the gap or the gaps, but then once they're closed, I'll go. I go in with the grinder to make it a little bit wider, so I can make a, a bigger bend. And you guys are seeing me with the grinder is going back and forth. No, I don't grind like that because the grinder does all the work. It's just that the grinder is pushing me that way. But no, I don't cut like as if I'm using a handsaw. Eventually, I'll get this all the way over here. Okay, so I'm going to use my CAD here. In order but I think that's cool in order in order to make it round I'll cut this around and then I'll know over here sorry guys I'll know over here how far I have to go. Like I said earlier, I know I need to bring this straight with that, right? So I have to make a few more cuts. Okay, so that's tacked in. It came out nice and round here. Well, half a circle anyway. And now what I'll do is I'll weld the pipe, the tubing from here. And then come up a little bit over here. Cool. Cool. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to use my eyes. And hopefully I'll get this straight. Yeah, it looks pretty good.
Ah, shirt's on fire. It's not a welding blanket, it's just a shirt to cover the engine from the dust. So here's where I am so far. Uh, it's coming out pretty good, I think. Um, this bike here, oh, I have the gas tank to go on here. Which is gonna sit right there. Should look pretty cool. Uh, my brother-in-law actually wants to buy this bike. He's already said he's going to buy the bike. He lives about two hours away from me. Um, I don't think I'm going to make this tank like I did on the chopper bike look like a, a, a bike tank. I think I'm just going to leave it this way. Unless he wants to pay me to... Uh, to modify it but yeah um, he's gonna watch this video and uh, I just want to let him know before you get this bike I'm gonna kick the shit out of it I'm gonna jump mountains with it anyway I'm gonna leave the video here uh, and then on my next video what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to make the forks for it. And then I still have to make the seat. Plus, this is only tack welded together. So, I have to completely weld everything together. Solid. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Cheers, guys.